Hi, PUBG Sports fan. I'm Annie, your PUBG Sports guide, and this is the first ever PUBG Sports news show. I'm here with Paper Thin, our beloved PUBG Sports commentator. Hi. <laughs> hey guys, Paper Thin here. I am so excited to be a part of this. Along with Annie, I'm going to be providing professional commentary for these videos. First, let's see what has changed in PUBG Esports 2020. PUBG will host a total of four global events, three PGS and one PGC. 32 teams will compete at PGS events, and those teams will be decided by the regional qualifiers from six regions. We have decided to postpone PGS Berlin, but the journey to upcoming PGS will proceed with regional qualifiers and tons of third-party events. So what are we up to today? Well, it's the off season for PUBG Esports, so Roster Royale is in full effect. There have been many changes across the PUBG Esports universe early this year. I know, like K-Mind, right? Yeah, it's pretty crazy. K-Mind has left Genesis and moved over to Team Liquid, so he's leaving the Americas region and moving over to Europe. 2019, one of the biggest storylines we followed in PUBG Esports was the battle for Pachinki. Originally, it started out as Genesis and Team Liquid. Now, the arch rivals may kind of find themselves in an awkward situation as K-Mind is now on the enemy side, and this could prove to be a very beneficial thing for them going into the global events if they can qualify. This is an incredibly strong team with players who have a ton of experience on the big stages. So the twins are out of the Team Liquid right now. Yeah, exactly correct. Both of the twins have left Team Liquid. Sampty has actually moved over to WTSG, and I'm not sure if you remember that team or not. I think I remember them from PGI. Yeah, exactly. They qualified for PGI in 2018. They're moving back to WTSG, which stands for Welcome to South Georgia. I heard that Iro is going to the team. Right? That's correct. Iro as well is going to be joining this team. So with Vard and Miraku, that's going to round out this roster. This should be a pretty explosive team, I feel like. I definitely feel like this is a team that should be potentially top four at the EU qualifiers. With Iro and Samti joining them, this is a much stronger WTSG team. You know, one funny thing I remember about the old WTSG team was that their uniforms had Korean... Uh, where did you get that? Hmm. <laughs> so starting this year, LATAM, NA, and OC will compete together for PGS qualifier, right? As American region, um, what team would you highlight from this region? Uh, right now, I definitely have my eye on the Sonics. Sonic? Um, that team doesn't really ring my bell. Yeah, they were a team that didn't perform super great at the end of last year. However, now they have added a lot of really new, strong players to their roster. Players who are all part of the representatives of the NA region for the PGC. I mean, Sharky and Maluk are absolute fraggers. They are really strong players. Waldo as well is a very underrated player, I feel like, in the NA region. So I am really excited for this team coming in with Tiggleton as well. So this is going to be a super exciting team, and I fully expect to see them at upcoming PGS events. I know that there are so many amazing players in APAC region. What happened there? Yeah, so Duckmans, for instance, has left his old team of Armory Gaming and has now moved over to Made in Thailand. So unfortunately for Duckmans, he hasn't been able to seemingly find as much success as he had with Armory Gaming with the Myth team. For me, along with Duckmans, I think Homeboya is one of the best players from APAC region and I was so sad that I couldn't see him on PGC. Yeah, so currently Han Boya is on a team called Purple Mood Esports, and they've been doing very well as of late. So they look to be on the rise, and they seem to be doing well in the Thailand qualifiers. They've got some really strong players, including Yoshi Minburi, who was the MVP at the OSM. Um, then which team would be the biggest threat for them? Yeah, definitely right now it has to be Buriram United. This has been a very strong team in Thailand for a while, but now they are starting to peak on the backs of players like Nordra, Edi, and Konaxi. They are playing incredibly well. They are fragging out in Thailand right now. 
I heard that one of the legends coming back. Yeah, actually, of all the player movements that have happened in Korea, maybe one of the most interesting is that Evermore is trying to make a return to the PUBG esports scene. He was the first ever solo event winner at Gamescom 2017, so he kind of made a mark for himself there. He was on a different team for a little while after that, and has kind of taken a break. Now he's coming back with some of his old team members, so it's kind of fascinating to see how they will do. His old team members haven't had a ton of success here in Korea over the last year, but maybe this will be the spark they need to kind of change things. Genji가 잘 한다고 소문이 좀 많이 나 있더라고요. 그래서 한번 붙어보고 싶어요. 최대한 기량 회복하고 있거든요. 빠른 시일 내에. 어, 합류하겠습니다. 네. 어, 일단 올해부터 공백 없이 열심히 활동할 거니까 어, 팬분들 많은 응원 부탁드립니다. 럭키 설팅 화이팅! 에버모 화이팅! Okay guys, well that's gonna do it for us for today. But we will come back with regional qualifier news and other interesting content, so please stay tuned!